Hello everybody, I am Jess Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, this video is, in this video I'm using a razor that I have not used in a while and I've never done a video with it. And that is, oops, this one right here. This is the you can see nice brass head and it says right here on the back it says Eversharp Hydro Magic um, now I don't know if Eversharp was a division of Schick but pretty much if you're not familiar with these what people refer to as Schick injectors a lot of them they say Eversharp on them but anyways this is a really nice one now this model what's really cool like my uh, Type G it has a metal stirrup that goes up and pushes up underneath the head and it makes it, I mean, it's, you, you're supposed to be able to pop it to the side and clean out your razor and I've done that before. However, it's a pain in the butt. But this one, it's got this little lever here. You just pop the lever up and the head actually drops down and you can get in there pretty good and clean it and then when you're done cleaning you just pop it back up and it pushes it back in place it has this real nice ribbed hand plastic handle it's a really good razor it's a tad more aggressive than my type g i do i i do uh, feel anyways so of course the blades are going to be schick injectors um in case you're not familiar with this as you can see this is the injector it's basically like a magazine right here on the top you have your plunger and you have what this is called the key and if you look at right here on the right there's a notch for the key to let me turn it around but you basically you stick the key oh, let me find it right in that little notch and just push it in like that and then this here you just pull this back all the way and then you hang on you just push it forward as you can see it inserts a blade right like that and then you just pull it out and then what I understand just take the bottom part of your your little magazine here and just kind of push it against the blade to make sure it just clicks in place that's the razor the brush is my razor rock 24 millimeter two band finest badger in the barber handle which is a real nice solid acrylic handle I have two brushes with those barber handles one is the plus soft um, synthetic tonight's soap is going to be this one Sterling's executive man mm, I love the smell of this executive man um, in case you're not familiar with Sterling soaps great soaps um, I mean, it's not the hardest soap in the world. You can push down and, and get it in. But it's a pretty good soap. And if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you know I do not bloom. Gonna re-dampen the brush a little bit. Grab the soap. And just start loving. Yeah, when I first got into this hobby, I bloomed all the time except really soft stuff but I always bloomed and uh, sometimes blooming does make a really really hard soap get a little water here it loosens up that top layer of soap um, the only one that I even do even add water to before I load is Take that proto lather off. Um, the only one that I really, really get wet before I load, I'll let it set for a minute, is Colonel Conk. 
because Colonel Conk is a pretty, pretty finicky soap. So, at least from what I heard. Um, okay, that's a pretty good look. And um, and I load it with a pr I load a pretty wet brush. I'm going to get my face wet. And I did get some soap here. Let's go ahead and let's wipe the lather from around the side of the tub. And rub it in. That's my pre-shave. Yeah, I'll tell you here in a minute about how to got a pretty interesting story to tell about this here shipment of blades that I received my injector blades in. Anyways, um I'll go ahead and tell you after I lather up. Give it a water. Anyways, how's everybody doing this evening? Um, I hope you all had a really good, safe, happy Memorial Day. Um, load up a little more here. I put just a touch of water on the top, which I do sometimes. Um, for some reason, now if I had one of my synthetics tonight, oh man, this sterling would be loading up on it real quick and easy. Um, but you know, what the heck. The, um, I felt in the mood to use my two band finest. I think I just got soaked in my ears. Anyways, I'm going to rinse off my hands. And I'll go ahead and start the shave out. Or start the shave. Oops, damn. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Mm, about in the sink. Covered in soap, though. <laughs> so, anyways, now if you have never used one of these here injectors, I'm going to do my hands. The angle between one of these and, say, a gym or an Ever Ready or DE is way different. Pretty much. That's pretty much the angle, pretty much straight out. And just, anyways, 
go ahead and go on Razor's Direct. Last week. Um, in case you haven't checked out Razor's Direct, um, they don't charge taxes unless it's in a state where you absolutely have to. Um, they're out of New Jersey. So I don't know about taxes. But anyways, I've never been charged taxes. Um, free shipping. No, I don't know if that's just in the U.S. or if it's worldwide, but free shipping. I mentioned this here in the U.S. Anyways, so I go on there and I order. Now, granted, I'm on fixed income, so I don't have a lot of discretionary cash that I can go ahead and as you can see, I've got about two, three days growth, and this is taking it down pretty good. Um, anyways, I go in there, and I order chicken chapter blades. Um, Fourteen blades, so it's two seven pack injectors. For whatever reason, that's how Schick packages them. So, and I'll order. A 10 pack of gem blue stars for my gem and ever readies. One moment. A 10 pack of gem stainless. Super stainless, or whatever they are. And then. I ordered okay and the, and the blue stars were $4.99 the gym super stainless $5.99 14 pack the two two injectors was for the 14 count was for the double pack was like um, $14.99 and then I ordered for $14.99 I ordered a 20 pack of Feather Pros Artist Club um, single edge blades for my Colonial Razors General and since that's my only Artist Club style razors I don't go through blades that fast. Um, if you watch my last video, my Memorial Day shave, I think I talked about how long it took me to get through the 8-pack I ordered from Tri-Blade. So, it really takes me a while to get through blades. So, I don't need more than a 20-pack of blades for that at a time. I'd like to have different brands or different blades for that. From both Feather and Kai. Going again to the side cross grip. But anyhow, I get the order today. And they screwed up big time. Um they I opened the box and I'm thinking, this is a pretty good sized box for what, five packs of blades? So, I love this, this, this sterling soap. Um, I have three sterling soaps and they're all great. Wonderful residual slickness, uh, good slickness, 
Cushing Glide, everything. So anyways, I'm thinking, wow, oh, this is box is kind of substantial considering what I purchased. Anyhow, open the box, I'm going to start pulling out blades. And I notice, right off, in the middle of the box, taking up the majority of the space, was a pretty good sized box. And I'm thinking, huh, what the heck? Why is this big old box here? So, I check. And, and I even had my girlfriend look at the um, order form, the shipping invoice, and it was exactly what I put. Um, two injectors, five blue stars, five super stainless, and a 20 pack of the Feather Artist Club. So I start pulling out blades. Or, you know, I pulled out the blades. You know, and there was, I don't need a thick layer, so I'll just paint on. There was 14 chick injector blades. That was correct. Then I pull out one pack of Jim Blue Stars. Uh, another pack of Jim Blue Stars. And a pack of Jim Super Stainless. So instead of 20 blades, which the invoice showed, I had 30. Which, you know, I'd rather get too many blades than not enough blades when I order. So I move on to the big box. And I asked my girlfriend, what does this box say? It said something in Japanese. I imagine it said what was in the box. But it said Feather Artist Club Professional Single Edge Razor Blades. Okay. And I'm thinking this is a mighty big box for 20. So I open the big box. And it was full of multiple smaller boxes. I start pulling them out and counting them. I go, one, two. Well, when I got done counting the boxes inside the big box, there were ten boxes. And each box said that it contained 20 Feather Artist Club Professional Blades. You do the math. 20 times 10 comes out to 200. At $14.99 for every 20 blades, that come out to $149.90 worth of razor blades. So, a little voice inside my head goes, damn dude, we scored. But, I'm not like that. So, I uh, immediately, you know, I opened up the first box to make sure that it had 20 blades. Just be sure. I didn't shoot them out of the dispenser. But it was a dispenser with looked like a big Schick injector, like an inject like one of these Schick injector dispensers. Or injectors without a key. It was long plastic, clear plastic, and it had the little plunger that moves back and forth. 
for dispensing them. So, anyway, my girlfriend looks and she went, yeah, there's a whole bunch of blades in there. Anyhow, so, yeah, it's the only way to direct one dispenser with 20 blades. So, I call him. And, I talk to the lady. And, you know, right here. She said, well, I'll tell you what she said when I come back because, well, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here, catch any little spots I might have missed on the face. I'll come back for the post after I shave my dome. See y'all in a minute. Anyways, that was an absolutely, absolutely wonderful, wonderful comfortable shape. Oh, missed the little spot right there. There. As you can see, my face, everything absolutely baby butt smooth. My head, absolutely baby butt smooth. Around my ears, excellent. If you're a head shaver and you have not tried a injector razor and you want something that is going to go through it quickly and give you a smooth, close, comfortable shave every time, unless your blade sucks, an injector. Um, if you can find the Hydro Magic like mine, that's a really good one. Um, I think it shaves a little bit better than the Type G. I don't know about the Type L or M or Type E or any of the others. Because um, I only have a Type G and this one. Anyhow, so let's move on to the post and back to the story. Anyways, so I call the lady. So I call up RazorsDirect.com. And if you've never checked out their site, check them out. They've got under specialty, under the specialty link, they've got, you know, head shaver and some other items. They got shoe care stuff, um, soaps, creams, bowls, brushes, razors, razor blades, really good deals on a lot of blade on a lot of their blades, really good deals. Um, I like getting my Gillette Silver Blues there. A hundred silver blues for twenty bucks and that's pretty much the cheapest I've found them um, that I have. Um, So, they're a good place. And like I said, their shipping's always free. It may take, you know, it takes five to ten days for their regular shipping, but, you know, if you're ordering something like razor blades or soap or the stuff they carry, nothing really like, wow, I gotta have that. But, you know, it's stuff that, you know, you're gonna order and it's not something that you're not gonna be on pins and needles for unless you really unless you're like me you order in blades for a razor that you haven't used in a while um, but I call her up I call up razors direct and I spoke with a lady and I told her the mistake I said hey you guys were supposed to send me 14 injector blades you did that you were supposed to send me 20 single edge blades 10 blue stars and 10 uh, stainless. Yeah, when Head sent me 20 blue stars and 10, 10 stainless, but I also ordered 20 Feather Pro Artist Club blades, and you guys ended up sending me 200. And she's like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you guys sent me 200 of those. And she's like, oh, um, could I have your number? invoice <laughs> your, your order number this and that so I give her that um, she's all let me contact shipping and I guess they put initials of uh, the people that packed up the order and sent it out they normally initial it and there was no initials so whoever was packing up my box they just weren't paying much attention you know to the order um, 
you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a little voice in my head that said, hey, but, you know, um, I've always told my son, well, I will always tell my son, and I've told stepkids, hey, you don't steal. You don't lie, you don't steal. Um, you don't cheat. It's, stu uh, uh, it's stuff. And if I went ahead and would have kept those 200 blades, well, if Razor's Direct would have ever caught the mistake and contacted me, and I would have said, no, that would have been a lie, and that would have been a form of cheating to get extra blades, and it definitely would have been stealing, because do the math, $14.99 for 20 blades, multiply that by 10. Anyways, tonight's aftershave is this one. This is an Avon, and it looks like a big rig. It actually has a trailer that goes on it that holds talc, but I won't use that talc because from what I understand, some of this older talc sometimes was, there was asbestos cross-contamination. How that happened, I don't know, but I saw Douglas Mike mention it, so I'm like, I'm not taking the chance. But this stuff smells pretty damn close, if not a dead ringer. If it's so close, it might be a dead ringer. An odd clubman. Um, you know, why it's not in a little yacht, I don't know, but it's a big rig. And, um, which is kind of cool because my dad's a truck driver. And, uh, you know, an odd clubman. It smells like an odd clubman. I love the scent of an odd clubman, so. But, anyways. They sent me an email asking me to send back the blades, so I called the lady to ask her, hey, you got it, and they said they'd reimburse my bank account, and I asked the lady for the shipping costs, and I told the lady, I asked her, I said, well, do you want me to, how do you want me to do this, and she went, just include the blades, that we went ahead and sent you extra, and we'll sit there and, you know, just respond to the email, let us know how much the shipping was, and we'll reimburse your card. And I said, okay, so you want the, the nine packs of the feathers and you want the extra pack of gems. And she went, we sent you extra gems? I'm like, yeah, you sent me 30, not 20. And she went, just keep the extra pack of the gem blades. Um, just send back the feathers. So, you know, I mean, you know, I could have had 200, 200 uh, and 10 extra blades or 190 extra blades. And I ended up getting 10 extra blades, so, you know. But, hey, at least my conscience is clear, and, you know, I'm not stealing. So, besides, I'm not the guy that, the people that puts out the money to stock those products at that company. And, you know, um, setting there every product that's not returned, that they set there and somebody gets too many of one thing, you know, especially something that out of proportion to an order, I mean, that's that's taking food out of a family's mouth, so, or out of family's mouths. So, you know, I, I did the right thing, and my conscience is clear. So, anyways, that's my shave. It's been absolutely wonderful, absolutely beautiful. Happy I got my shake injectors going again. Um, I hope y'all have been doing well. Like I said, hope y'all had a good Memorial Day. Um, Y'all take it easy, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now. Oh, before I go, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Ring that bell if you want to, if you want to, if you subscribe. That way you'll get notified whenever I drop a new video. If you ever need to reach me, all our case, no spaces, one word. Just Lance 59 at gmail.com. Bye-bye now.